Hello, my name's Jim, and I'm here to introduce you to the new BWB XP Flame Photometer. It is a modern, high quality, high performance flame photometer with many features new to flame photometry. A totally digital, microprocessor based instrument with simultaneous detection and display of all five elements, bringing flame photometry into the 21st century. Over the next few minutes, you will be taken through the operation of the XP and many of its features which will make your analysis easier and more reliable than ever. I'll be back later to wrap things up. Enjoy the show. When you receive your BWB XP Flame Photometer, a variety of accessories and solutions other manufacturers charge extra for are included straight out of the box. The Decon 90 2% solution, the Brill 35 1% solution, or commonly referred to as the diluent. All five ion standard concentrates, volumetric flasks, sample cups, pipettes, the drip tray, waste tubing, gas hose and clamp, aspiration tube and cleaning wire, the nebulizer, the FPPC software used to connect your flame photometer to a personal computer, the DVD instructional video, computer interface cords, the power leads, manuals and documents. And of course the star of the show, the BWB XP Flame Photometer. The BWB XP is easy to install. First of all, connect the gas tubing to the regulator. Now connect the waste tubing to the drain cup and run it to a drain. Attach the nebulizer to the mixing chamber, the air to the front barb and the gas to the side barb. Attach the power cord to the BWB XP and the power outlet and finally just add gas. The FPPC software package, included free of charge, aids in calibrating and generating reports that can be stored electronically, sent over the internet to colleagues, or printed from the computer. Although it is not necessary to connect the BWB XP flame photometer to a computer, it does offer valuable advantages to the user. Attach either a USB or RS-232 cable to both the BWB and your computer. Now follow the on-screen instructions to choose installation destination. Open the application to bring up the welcome tab. Enter your company and operator details. Set the COM port so the BWB XP can communicate with your computer. The FPPC software also includes free software and firmware updates. Simply connect your PC to the internet and press web update. Operating the BWB XP is very intuitive and user friendly. I will now briefly show you how to navigate through the menu structure. Later we will cover calibrating the device and how to take readings. There are three ways to navigate through the menu structure. Firstly the up and down arrows and pressing accept, pressing the number ion buttons and finally the three shortcut buttons read, calibrate and multi-mode. There are a variety of submenus, and at any time pressing the back button will revert to the previous menu item. At various times the operator will be prompted by the BWB XP to carry out an operation. Now that the BWB XP is set up and ready to go, the next step is to calibrate the instrument. Before we start our calibration, we can set the units in which we want to calibrate and display. The BWB XP can be set to parts per million, 
milligrams per litre, milliequivalents per litre and millimoles per litre. There is an additional units option for those who wish to use a different method of measurement. For our example, we will choose parts per million. There are three types of calibrations we can do. Single point, multi-point and multi-mode. We will start with the most common type, the single point calibration. The single point calibration involves one standard and a blank to set the zero point. Of course, all calibrations require a blank to set the zero point. Let's do a single point calibration of potassium at 50 ppm, and while we are calibrating, we can use the FP PC software to follow along. The BWB XP will offer prompts as we go through the steps of calibration. From the main menu, choose Calibrations. Go to Calibrate Ions, and choose Potassium. For a single point calibration, enter 1. Begin by aspirating the blank and press the blank key to begin the process. Of course, as the BWB XP is warming up, we recommend you aspirate the blank continuously. While we are waiting for the process to complete, we can follow its progress on the FPPC. When the blank is ready, we are prompted to enter the concentration of the standard. Key in 50 on the BWB XP. Press Accept. Start aspirating the 50 ppm potassium standard. Press Accept again and the calibration point will be determined. Again, we can follow along with the FPPC as the calibration progresses. When the calibration is finished, tick on the Retrieve Calibration box and the FPPC will now be ready to report potassium readings. The BWBXP allows us to enter as many as 14 calibration points plus the blank, so we can bracket our expected unknown sample values very closely thereby increasing the precision and accuracy of the readings. The process is similar to the single point calibration, but when we are prompted for the number of points, we will enter three. Run the blank as before. For our first standard, key in 40. Start aspirating the 40 ppm potassium standard. The next standard is 50 ppm key in 50 and aspirate. Our final standard is 60 ppm. Key in and aspirate. Again, we can follow the process along with the FP PC software. If we want to calibrate several ions at several calibration points, we could repeat a multi-point calibration for each ion, but this would be quite time intensive.